Andyan ka na pala. A game na. Discuss na tayo. Item number 2. Find the parts and draw the graph of the hyperbola defined by the equation x squared minus 2y squared equals negative 8. Uy, wala na naman siya sa standard form. So, do natin simulan. To be able to change this to standard form, we divide all terms by negative 8. Kasi dapat equal to 1 yan. E equal to negative 8 to. Ay, hindi pwede yun. Divide all terms by negative 8. Negative 8. There we go. Then, cancel. Yung pwede yung i-cancel. Cancel, cancel. Whoops. Change sign tayo dyan dahi. Cancel, cancel. Simplify. We now have negative x squared over 8. Negative divided by negative is positive. So we have y squared over 2, 8, 4 equals 1. And then, syempre, pangit yung pagkasulat nito. Mali yung grammar niya in terms of math. We will write. We have y squared over 4 minus x squared over a equals 1. Ayan. Meron na tayong standard form of equation. Siyempre, susunod na natin nga hanapin ay ang a, b, c. So, una muna pala case. <laughs> Alin ang positive na coordinate? Ang x squared ba o ang y squared? Alin yung positive? Yung y squared. Very good. Siya ang positive. So, Case 2 tayo, mga kaibigan. Case 2. So, if we are using case 2, ibig sabihin kung ano ang nasa ilalim ng positive value, siya ang a squared. So, ito, a squared ang 4. Square root of 4 for a is 2. Ulitin kayo na, baka hindi nyo nakuha. Kung alin yun man yung may positive na coordinate, siya yung a squared. Regardless of the size yan, regardless of whichever is greater. So, ito nyan ay b squared kasi negative to. So, siya yung b. Positive to. So, siya yung a squared. Okay. Okay na tayo. Meron na tayong a. Kundi naman natin ang b. Square root of 8 daw. Square root of 8. Siyempre, pwede pang i-factor out yan, no? Factor out natin. We have the square root of 4 times 2. May perfect square naman ang 4. So, we will arrive at 2 times the square root of 2 for B. Sharon. That's for A. For C, we have the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, we have the square root of 4 plus 8. Square root of 12. Oh, factor out. Delete. Baka may perfect square dito. Yes, 4 and 3. Tapos, labas mo yung 4 kasi perfect square yan. You have 2 times the square root of 3. And meron na tayong ABC. Excuse me po. Maakit na naman yung acid natin, day. Uh, do day, sorry. Fosai. For the fossil, we have case 2, 0, positive negative C, so 0, positive negative 2, square root of 3. And then vertices. For the vertices, we have 0, positive negative A, so we have 0, positive negative 2. Go vertices. We have positive negative B. Case 2 tayo, ha? baka nagtataka kayo sa galing ni Ma'am to. Ato tingin lang kayo sa table. Positive negative 2, square root of 2, 0. Asymptotes. Hindi ko gagawin yan. Hindi ako magkaganan. Y is equal to... Hindi <laughs> ko matiis. Asymptotes. Positive, negative, A. Ano sa A? 2. Over B, 2 square root of 2x. Now, since we could simplify this further, cancel that out. And you'll have Y is equal to positive, negative, 1 over the square root of 2x. Siyempre, um, i-allow ko na to. Sige, tatanggapin ko na to. Pero pwede pa tong irrationalize. Ito, okay na to ha. Tatanggapin ko na to. This is okay. But if you want to rationalize, let me show you the rationalization. This is optional. Ching, ching. Ay, mali. Ching, ching, ching. Optional na lang to. Magamit ang ibang kulay. Y is equal to 
positive negative 1 over square root of 2. Rationalize natin by multiplying square root of 2 over square root of 2. You'll have the square root of 2 over square root of 4 or square root of 2 over 2. X positive negative. Ayan. This is the rationalization but this is optional. Optional. Optional ang rationalization. Ta-da! Okay, that's it. That's it for example number two. Bye-bye!